heard a lot about people using 3D printers for good in this pandemic, from masks to face shields that can pretty much make anything. A group of boys in Mayville has known that well before this coronavirus pandemic arrived. Fox 6's Ashley Sears has been up with them pre-pandemic as they use their skills to help a little girl. A lot of trial and error. In order to get things okay, right, just... a lot of trial and error. You have to keep at it. Some of them were too loose, some of them were too tight and would snap. Inside Mrs. Bushke's classroom at St. John's Lutheran School in Mayville, these four eighth grade boys are used to taking on challenges. Well, they've done a lot of different projects from competitions of making ice scrapers, making shovels. During this hour, they are building and brainstorming. Their latest project is a little different, but one they could not say no to. Yeah, I think we can do it, yeah. Even if the boys are a little unsure this one's cracked. of the best way to tackle it. And this is like their trampoline. These are the flowers in the garden. Nine-year-old Addison this, Paul like became area. their inspiration. And here is like a little ki is a kitchen with food in it. The third grade Germantown girl. And over here is the bedroom. Is always using her imagination, playing like any other kid. There's for you. Here we are, almost seven years to the day living strong with type 1 diabetes. At just two and a half years old, Addison's life changed forever. It was a shock to the system. The spunky little girl went from getting insulin shots to wearing a pump. It's made a gigantic difference in her life. Never wanting to hide her disease. I, that was the first pot I ever painted. Always embracing it. I wore the cow for state fair. With the help of her mom, Sarah, the two would paint each pot, collecting their work. It says mom, and then there's a little one, and then there's a big emoji on it. Though the process has been fun, it's become time consuming. Having to change the pump every three days, Sarah knew there had to be an alternative. That's when she spotted a post on Facebook. And I saw these insulin pump covers that this woman had received from a school. The small removable plastic covers decorate the insulin pod. Sarah made her own Facebook post asking if anyone had a 3D printer that could help her little girl. A parent in Mayville saw the post. I immediately said, I think we can do it. Mrs. Bushke and her team of eighth grade boys went straight to work. This was many hours of trying to resize it and all that, just trying to get everything to fit. Using a 3D printer, they created unique designs to help Addison continue to feel special. We did the Girl Scouts because she's in Girl Scouts. The work took a couple of weeks and finally, Hi. 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 they were presented to Addison. You ready to see them? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my goodness, they are amazing. Mm -hmm. <gasps> the 21 covers range from a donut to a ladybug and Addison's favorite. So are you ready to put this on? A pink unicorn. Oh, that is awesome. A simple gesture bringing a big smile to a sweet girl. I'm happy that someone and some people did this for me. This one is blank, so you or your mom can paint it, whatever the heck you want. That'll be fun. Teaching the boys an important lesson. It was a lot of work, and I'm glad that we were able to do it. Sometimes the biggest challenges. She means the world to me. So the fact that these people stepped up and they did something for somebody else. And this one. It warms my heart. And then this one. Have the greatest one. rewards. That With photojournalist so Eric Litzheim. I like it. Ashley That's Sears, Fox 6 News. Even though school is out, Addison is still enjoying wearing her insulin covers while e-learning at home. This is Bushki and one of the boys. They're now using 3D printers to continue to help others. They're making face masks for those on the front lines of the COVID-19 fight. Sometimes we just have to turn to kids who are providing the good examples for the rest of us. Hey, well